What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we'll learn three volleyball passing drills that you can do without a volleyball net. All you need is another person, a ball, and ample space for training. Just because you don't have access to a volleyball gym doesn't mean you cannot work on your volleyball skills. Before you try these passing drills, Make sure that you perform a full warm-up and pepper to prepare your body for volleyball training. I'll link those two videos in the description box. Performing high intensity exercise without a proper warm-up will not only limit your performance, but will lead to injury as well. The first drill is a reactive defense drill, where one person attacks consecutive balls overhead and the other person passes as many balls in a row as possible. This drill trains three things. Maintaining a low defensive position for an extended period of time, improving reaction time, and being adaptable by digging the ball in a variety of situations. As you become more advanced with your ball control, the hitter can vary the offense by changing the type of attack, such as hitting, tipping, and roll shotting, varying the location, varying the speed, and varying the distance from the defender. A good goal is to dig 10 balls in a row. The second drill is a basic serve-receive drill. Measure out the length of a volleyball court, mark out the half-court line, and place an object where your passing target is. Have your target serve at you from the other baseline. Pass 10 balls in a row in left back, middle back, and then right back, so you can work on different passing angles. You can also have the server change positions to receive serve from different angles. The third drill is defense against an attack. Stand on a platform, whether it's bleachers, table, chairs, etc., in order to simulate a higher contact point for a spike. Just make sure whatever you're standing on is stable. If you don't have access to a stable platform, you can perform this drill just by standing on the ground. Mark out a digging target and baseline so you have a point of reference. Make sure you place your target 5 to 10 feet off the net and in the middle of the court. For this defensive practice, we focused on defense versus the outside hitter from the left back position. You can simulate defense from any position. Just make sure you are specific with which attack you are digging because that will intensify the drill and make it more game-like. Next, we transitioned to defending against the outside hitter from the right back position. Your goal should be to pass five balls higher than the attacker and within a few feet of your target. If you want to learn exactly how to perform the technique for all these skills in each drill, make sure that you check out the tutorial videos listed in the description box. Try these three no net volleyball passing drills and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you would like me to coach you remotely, then check out my online volleyball coaching services below where I can watch a video of you playing and performing certain skills and then provide you specific feedback on how to improve your volleyball skills through email or video consultation. Please share this video with your volleyball friends and teammates who don't have access to a volleyball net or court but still want to improve their volleyball skills. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more volleyball and jump training videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.